right, hey, I'm Tanner with Bluegrass International. I've been here, I think, 12 years, 13 in August. Uh, I pretty much do all the alignments around here. I actually found something pretty unique since a customer just had some suspension work done and brought it here since he still had a pulling situation. So I'm gonna go over with what to look for with average suspension wear, tire wear, shocks, all that kind of stuff. So in, your, so in your rear ends on a line, if you have a customer complaining with a pull, we we'll actually want to check the U-bolts, make sure they're at the proper torque. We've done all that. We we'll want to check, make sure the tires are properly inflated. Right here on your spring, on your spring mounts is where we make our adjustments. We can shim it. You can see I had to shim this side to bring the scrub in. Your forward axle is scrub. Your back axle is thrust. And a lot of people ask why we have shims. And I see a lot of guys mess up because if they shim one side, they'll want to shim this other side. But one thing, I don't care what manufacturer it is, them spring hangers are never in the identical spot. But anyways, uh, there was no abnormal tire wear or anything. Most of the time, we'll feel around the tire. We'll look for cupping. We'll look for wear on the inner side, outer side. We'll look for, then that'll indicate like an axle is tracking wild. But uh, the customer suspension was fine, just come back. But he said he still had a pull because he had a lot of work done on the front. So I was able to get up here when we were compensating it. There's no abnormal wear on the steer tires. The kingpins are tight, wheel bearings are tight, tie rod ends are tight. No issues with the drag link. I'm not sure, I think they put spring pin bushings in is what it looks like since we got new U-bolts and we got new spring pin bushings. But one thing I did find was when I was bringing the toe, when I was bringing toe in to be green, you can watch my drag link here. We actually have a bent drag link. It'll still line up green. I'm assuming that's probably why the other place didn't catch it. But still, the whole time, whenever you got a bent like that and you're actually hitting bumps or going down the road or whatever, what have you, the tensile strength of that is actually wrecked. So any kind of hit, we are now bending since it's not completely straight and true. So that explains why the customer's alignment keeps changing whenever you whenever he's driving down the road and complains that it's driving fine for a minimal amount of time and then going bad again. But that's all. We're going to put that on the customer, update them, see which route they want to go, see what parts availability is, and get it running true.